I thank you very much for accepting me as your pastor. Um, you will see some tears. I see my eyes are a little bit wet. Um, and really it is because I have seen God move in my life from way back when. And uh, um, like I shared in, in Silver Hill this morning, like God has definitely always been with me. I can share this story, you don't have time. But really, it, it, it has definitely moved me. This morning, I, I gave a testimony about Abraham, Abraham really. And God said to him, uh, you know, get up and go to a land that I will show you. And he never showed him. He didn't show him the land. And Abraham got up and he went. And uh, I feel in, in a lot of ways that that has been me. And uh, today I see uh, in some ways what God has always been doing. Uh, I, I remember, for those of you who don't know, I was raised in a children's home. And I remember standing up in uh, one of the, the church that I was going to, uh, looking over the pulpit. And uh, from that moment, in a sense, even though I really took time to acknowledge it, I, I had a deep sense that God was saying, you will do my work. Sense of, is it a sense? Right. <laughs> and I had that sense that God was leading me to this place. And so when you see tears, I, I am just deeply humbled by, by, by that. Yeah. And, uh, you know, one of the things we are encouraged to do as as leaders is to have a vision, and uh, and for me, really, you know, I thought about it, and I was like, "What's my vision, boy?" And anyone who knows me, who would have been with me, especially after I, I got saved and I entered into the church space, I always said, "I want to do what God." wants me to do. Yeah. And I recognize in a sense, even though it's not as clear as you can say, as some people may say, yeah. that is a, a vision for, for myself. Yeah. And uh, my, my hope is that uh, many of you who are under my leadership will be definitely Christ-centered individuals. So that's on a personal level. And then uh, on a broad sphere, community level, I hope that Having done my part and God doing his part in your life, that you would uh, seek to answer God's call and make a difference in the communities that you live in. Make a difference in this island, uh, Tobago, and definitely the Twin Island Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. And so today, I say thank you, and uh, I pray that you would... Um, work with me, <laughs> really, you know, and uh, at the end of the day, we, we all be presented spotless before God Almighty, who is uh, our Father, and who promises that should be uh, live for Him, that we will spend eternity with Him. So I thank you once again. Amen. 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 Amen.